All right. We are here with Massacre Girl, known killer. Seems like a really cool commander. Um, I think somebody beat me in my last video I posted with this, and uh, I, I just really like that strategy. There, there's that 4-2 Wither card, if you remember, from like way back in, I think, Shadowmoor. One of my favorite cards. It's a 4-2 for 4 with Wither. It looks cool. I like the art. And Wither is a cool command uh, ability to me. So let's try to make it work here. Um, so if anything of your opponent's dies with less toughness than one, draw a card. How do you do that? Well, you do it with Wither. So if like a... a this trades with something that's a 4-4. Four, four. I'm pretty sure you would draw a card. I think this would see that die, so you would draw a card there. Or you could kill a creature outside of Wither Combat with something like Grasp of Darkness, right? It goes below its um, zero, um, and you draw a card. Seems very strong to have your removal spells draw cards, <laughs> so that's pretty nice. Um, any excuse to play Obliterator, I'm going to do it. Witch King seems nice. Anything that can sort of give itself like indestructible is just really solid right if you can block with this or force your opponent to block and this has wither it probably you know this kills like a lot of things in the game stuff like that right so also um nazgul's i like nazgul i think they fit here i think they uh like, you, you want to play a lot of creatures. The ability on this is fine. You, it's consistent, right? You, you play more than just one. It's nothing to hate there. I think this is pretty solid. Anything with Death Touch is just a plus. It's hard for something like Pock, which is extremely popular, to swing when you have Death Touch in play and it doesn't have Trample. Um, that's pretty cool. I got Discard, Dark Ritual, probably Stupid Bust It, right? You got all the typical strong things, Black Market, uh, Frexian Arena... Um, Necropotence, all the dumbness. There's also, where are you? The Scarab Enchantment called, uh-oh, Nest of Scarabs. There it is. This card is kind of like the centrifuge of everything. I really like this effect. So when, you know, you distribute minus one, minus one through Wither, you get one ones. The one ones also have Wither. So it kind of just compounds on itself. This doesn't really do anything at all if I can't keep Massacre Girl in play, which could be a recurring issue, um, but we'll see. It is four mana, doesn't necessarily impact the board immediately. I mean, the creatures you already had in place suddenly have Wither, right? It's not really going to surprise your opponent because you're going into four mana, right? I don't have any mana rocks. I think we're just trying to pump out a solid curve or disrupt our opponent with removal before we're trying to ramp into Massacre Girl. Massacre Girl itself is decent, but without other creatures, not very exciting. So I kind of want things already in play by the time I get to, you know, my turn four to cast it. Uh, curve is kind of low, basically stops at four, which is like a couple fives. This is more of a two than it is a seven, right? Um, so I have, I think, 38, which is still a little high, in my opinion, for a deck that is looking for a 1 in 3 ratio for lands. Maybe like 33 is where I would love to be, but I don't know. Just smooth it out with 38. Screw it. Um, I think that's about it. Yeah, I like this this card. It seems cool. There's other, there's some like new cards in here like this. I mean, I could go card to card about the new set that are exciting, but I don't know. We'll bump into them more often than not. We probably won't. <laughs> this, this one, for example, is like a a demonic tutor attached to a skeleton, right? Two up front, two later. It's kind of cool, I guess. Um, can't hate it, just more tutors. Uh, I hope that we find Nest of Scarabs more with our tutors than we do something like Necropotence, because you would assume, why would you ever not get Necropotence instead of Nest of Scarabs? <laughs> but... I don't know. Uh, I want to just see how good this card is in like a back and forth kind of game. And uh, yeah, that's it. Removal spells, wither, attack, kill your opponent. Like, comment, subscribe, and let's roll. Tuh. Something's wrong with the art. I don't know what's going on. Like the boxes are a little crunched. I don't know why. Okay, well, this is a commander for sure. Um, Creatureless hand looks really questionable. I don't think I can do that. All right, this is slightly better. Yeah, I mean, by slightly, I mean like quite a lot. <laughs> a lot better there. I 
I do believe I will flash this in. I really wish they didn't nerf it, but it probably did need to get nerfed. It was a little egregious. All right. Hey, wait a minute. I get to kill that. I actually get to kill that and make an orc. Uh, make a to uh, token. Wow, look at that. All right. Um, I think I'll just play this now. It means no Nazgul this turn, but that's fine. I can play Massacre Girl next turn. That's probably just better. All right. Oh no, I got punished. I drew an untapped land satch. Alright, yeah, we're just gonna do this. We are going to... Literally do nothing. This was the worst possible scenario of all time. I guess I'm doing that. And then I'll buff my opponent's creatures, because that probably... It's not looking like it's gonna matter too much. It might, who knows. Yeah, that was, I think, the worst three, actually. That was uh, profoundly terrible. Well... All right, I'm gonna happen sometimes though. I guess they can. Can they just play? Yeah, they can just straight up play their commander. Okay, I choose this. If they don't kill bowmasters, um, that will backfire because uh, they'll have to draw a card off of their conquer's death, reanimating this. Alright, that is really bad news, but there's a lot of cards that aren't too scary that they can just randomly discover into, or essentially Cascade 5 into. So that's, I guess, a plus. Alright, I mean, the pressure's on, but it is, it's pretty, it's pretty easy to find a sweeper here. I think. Alright, so it looks like a bit of desperation. I mean, this still gains life, regardless. Esper Sentinel. Okay. <laughs> sure. I think I'm going to kill their commander. I can kill it with letting Esper Sentinel trigger. I could do that. Alright, they let it trigger on their own. Love it. But I can have it trigger on my turn. Actually, I think they're just... Yeah, they're tapped out. They're dead. Um, this is a treasure? Alright, they need a one mana spell like Swords of the Plowshares or something weird. Which is possible. It's possible. But uh, double removal is probably going to... Do them in. They cannot cast this. They'll draw too many cards from the Bowmasters. All right, they they choose to draw. <laughs> yeah, this isn't gonna work. Yeah, that's just uh, it's not gonna work. I mean, it gives them more mana. So if they had to do this to actually cast something relevant, then you know that makes sense. There's even an excuse to kill this instead with the pings, but I think going face is fine. Grave Pact again. Does that make sense to cast pre-combat? They're dead as it stands. I'm going to just cast this, because if they're going to kill something, they need to do it right now, unless it's an exile. So I'm just going to cast this. Alright, that does not save them on board. They're still dead. Is this the X pitch white march of uh, the white march? It is the White March. Look at that. Alright. So my opponent had the answers, actually. You know what? They did. But unfortunately for them, not enough. So we still win. Nice. Interesting game. Yeah, they uh, never hit a sweeper. Uh, I'm sure there's a few in there. This is Discover 4. So it does line up with all the four men of Ward Wipes. It is... Moderately creature light. It depends. I've seen a few versions of this, but uh, I haven't actually seen someone resolve this, but I have seen this card sometimes, but I've never actually seen it in play. That's the first time I've like seen it do anything. And unfortunately, it just the, it's like a value engine, but the value is completely random, right? And that's not as good as like 
you uh the dinosaur that discovers on dinosaurs i think this is a little too chaotic and crazy <laughs> unfortunately especially how your minus three and your commander is already a bit crazy it is nice that it would trigger this a lot and my opponent could maybe stabilize but the bowmasters just hosed all the extra card draw which was a uh, super super useful nice Bilbo Swaggins, okay. What is this? This is the giant turtle, which, uh, I mean, unless they give it unblockable, I haven't felt this. I Actually, this would be the first time I've seen it, but... Alright. Oh, come on! Why? I just want a game where green doesn't do this, please. Oh, it's so bad. It's, it is so bad when that happens. Okay, my opponent's hand is really, really, really bad. Um, I guess I'll take the one with text on it. Like, sure, you can play this really fast, but, like, you're not hitting me with it. It doesn't gain unblockable, does it? I don't think it does. Okay, so let's... Let me just... Yeah, this itself does not give itself unblockable <clears throat> or anything like that. And they can't tutor for, like, an unblockable equipment. Well, not yet, so. Okay. Why did it... Oh, oh, right. Okay. All right, all right. I'm like, I'll go search for this card, but it... I can't. <laughs> I, in fact, cannot do that. My opponent has the double blue for that already, you know, but this is, again, I mean, once I get a creature in play, this doesn't inherently ruin anything. I can just play this. And until they deal with it, they can't really attack me. If they do, I just, what are they, I, I basically lose instantly if they can hit me. But uh, I don't really anticipate them being able to do that. <clears throat> Okay, if there's something I don't understand here. No, that just dies. Yeah, I don't know what the attack was for. It's a little weird. Um, let's put the clock on him with this. Just like scare him with an ultimate. And just hang out. This also shrinks it a creature enough to where it actually can't gain enough to do anything. Okay, well that's really, really good. Ooh, they didn't hit a land. All right. No longer good. All right, now we're starting to really pull ahead here. I, I will still leave up this figure. Yeah, the Utopia Sprawl. Looks like they kept it on the back of that, and here they are kind of regretting it, maybe. Oh, nice. I get to disfigure a land? Hey, it's like killing a mana dork. It gets closer to Uro, though. Eh, but again, if I get this Liliana emblem, kind of just sitting pretty. Um, yep. And then I think I can swing with one of these here. I think that's fine. And then I can play you. Yeah, I'll play this and leave up Bowmaster. If my opponent finds a way to draw multiple cards, like, say, Uro, I can do something about that. That was the best draw, I think. It lets them cast Uro. There's not many things that let them do that. Okay. Never mind. I thought for some reason they actually needed that, but they did not. So... I think I'm pinging... I guess I'll ping their commander to make it smaller. But that feels really bad. That feels like actually really bad. So I think I'll just ping Uro. I think that makes sense. Alright, let's see if my opponent lets me boast. Wait, let's do this first.
So I have six mana. I guess I get Grave Pact. Because uh, this doesn't look like... Yeah, all right. I was about to say... Given the board state, my opponent really needs creatures in play, right, to do this magical... I mean, the ideal thing, what they're trying to do is hit you with this and then draw... I think, what, yeah, you draw 15 cards if you get hit by this, which is kind of crazy, but you have to do that, right? That can be extremely hard. If I sit in front of you with, like, a Typhoid Rat, so 1-1 one, one Death Touch and you get Stonewalled, it's uh, really rough. But uh, with Grave Pact, if they ever try to answer my board, they're blue-green, which is hard. But if they ever try to, it means they won't be able to hit me, right? All their stuff will leave. If they had, like, Cyclonic Rift, um, my opponent didn't give themselves the out of top-decking River's Rebuke, which would have... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6... They wouldn't have been able to do this, but still would have been really, really bad, right? I'm tapped out, um, plussing this. You know, it probably, in hindsight, was worth it to respect something that maybe bounced or tapped my creatures just so I could get this to 7, which I didn't plus this turn, it would be at 7, and then ultimate it next turn, because then I just don't have to really worry about anything, as that would just bring me over the finish line. But we didn't have to worry about it. That's not a big deal. Not every set's going to have, like, stupid, crazy cards in it, right? Not every card, not every set should have stupid, crazy cards. <laughs> but, uh, it's not that big of a deal. All right. This is a new one, right? I have to lose life for it to trigger. This is a bit slow. A bit slow. But it's in the colors I really like. Just in a rather odd way. All right, we're losing probably the virtue, but... That's probably fine. I mean, my whole hand is redundant, right? I'm, the seven mana side, if they take that, I don't really... Yeah, you know, they just snap take it. As people tend to do. Okay, what does this do? Treasure. Okay. That was a very good draw. Looks like my opponent may have an answer to it, though. It can't be Fatal Push, though. I think this is the first time in my life I've triggered Gix. My opponent knows about removal, so this isn't... Okay. Sure. Ah, oh, alright. Well, wait. No, no, that... Okay, yeah. Very well. Um, let us... Play this, and then maybe just attempt to s trade here? I feel like if I don't tr like I have to get past this, I have to get past it, right? I think this makes sense. I draw, and then I can chump block. I can just chump block this. Whenever. Yep, so they get a clue essentially, and then whenever clues go in the graveyard, you make a 1 1, which is not really that exciting. But Liliana can shut down this as an attacker, but that's not really. Too big of a deal for my opponent. I'm sure there's other ways for me to lose life. Okay. Sure. I don't think I like that too much. I can simply just swing with it, so that's a little strange to me. But uh, opponent thought it was worth it. I mean, it's still a 4-4 that it's attacking. It's, it's not like they dealt with it, so this is a very strange decision in my opinion. They're also just letting me draw the whole observable universe. Also kind of interesting. Okay, yeah, we are just like so far ahead now. This was not the kind of removal spell my opponent needed. And they probably needed to poke this so I wasn't drawing cards. Because I this is just a 4-4. It was already kind of just a 4-4. <laughs> like it wasn't doing too much oh wow okay okay yeah that's a way to get this to trigger every turn i like it i like it um i'm not gonna give my opponent the ability to block i'm just gonna do this
There's almost nothing my opponent can do to get out of this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they just didn't come together too well for my opponent. I re This is one of my favorite cards, especially in Popper. It's in my, like, paper Popper deck. My full foil mono black Popper deck. <laughs> but, um... This was neat. I, I mean, I like my opponent's deck. I like it. It just uh, didn't really come together for them, unfortunately. Like, a lot of what they did didn't really stop me. And again, I really think they really... They should have pinged this to remove the abilities. It does mean I draw anyways with my removal spells. But you cannot, like... You can't let me spam card draw, right? Like, look at this. You can't let me do this. You need to just kind of rip the band-aid off and do that or maybe even just ping this and actually block this does have death touch and they did have an opportunity to use it to block and kill so i don't i think they extremely underutilized their kaios ghost form they should have at least killed one of these this game would have looked very different if they killed Gex. so very strange decision in my opinion especially when you're already in the back foot I would never swords this. I would never swords that. I do not hate seeing that. Okay, do you not have a land? Ooh, you don't draw with it? What do you... Okay. I mean, if you didn't hit a land, you have to, like, draw with your staff, don't you? I feel like you do. I would. There's no universe in which I wouldn't. I mean, now you can't. Well, if you're going to draw, you should have joined your own turn to play a land. Oh, ugh. Oh, no. Hopefully we capitalize on that. That was not what my opponent should have done. I guess I'll play Shieldred next turn. Hmm. Yeah, Massacre Girl without any creatures in play is not really exciting, so I don't really have to go for it. Okay, they also do nothing, which makes me really want to play Gix pre-combat. They obviously have something. You know what? I'm actually going to play this pre-combat. Because if it's Wandering Emperor, I at least get to keep this and it's a relevant card. So. Alright. That is not the case. Didn't really matter what I played then. I don't think they can continue to draw. Alright, they do. They've paid 8 life into this staff, which is absolutely insane. Okay. Um, I will take a Nazgul. Pona has drained 12 life into that card. I don't really... I mean, they're not even stopping Massacre Girl. I could just cast it anyways. They probably don't care. But... Okay, so let's play this, and then this pushes more damage. I'll play uh, Gix pre-combat here. Okay, opponent has done a good job at killing themselves. <laughs> uh, sure. I feel like maybe they could have just tried to play this and make tokens instead of like draining their cell for twelve. Well, now you need a sweeper. They do have it. You got it. Okay, so let's play Massacre Girl, and 
knight. Yeah, all right. I could just play the knight, and then if it dies, I can uh, do this. But my opponent could just always make a token, and then I can't really do that. I'll just play this. I don't know. I'm not too concerned about it. I gotta try to kill my opponent before they stabilize like the other person at one. How much mana is this? How much life? Okay, so they can use it for mana once essentially. They can play their commander and then play one of these exiled cards which gains them life. Which is unfortunate, but at least whatever they play I guess has to sort of chump block kind of? Sort of? Yeah, they have to double chump here. They have to double chump. Uh, let's do this. Alright, no land. No land. Nice. Alright, that should kill my opponent. I think. No, it, no, it puts into one. Okay, I may have made a little... Wait a minute. Wait, no, I lied. I lied. I think they're dead. I lied. It's got menace, and then I can pump twice. Yep, alright. Nice. Wanna maybe do it, but look at that. So yeah, I sh there was an argument to not cast in the Inquisition because if I didn't have six, I couldn't do this twice, <laughs> and they would actually only go to one. These would be dead, but then they could actually this could have legitimate been legitimately been a game where yet again someone stabilized at one life. But fortunately, I didn't mess it up at the end there. Yeah, they drained themselves for what twelve off of this, which was crazy. Um, but I guess they had to. They were missing land drops, and uh, they were under enough pressure where they couldn't like just cast this, which I don't know if I agree with. I'll have to relook at every turn, but I think there was a turn where they might have been able to play this because it does make a three-two. But they didn't go that route. Cool. I feel like Pac has much more business playing against it than uh, everything else does, but I don't know. I am not the one on the design team, so I don't know. Different mana values, not as exciting. Alright, I'll just play this tap turn one. I really like my hand. We're also on the play, it's pretty useful. Okay, that's that's a surprisingly slow start. Surprisingly slow. Mystic Forge? What? Okay. Um, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's like a red white artifact deck? More than I mean it has to be. Mystic Forge isn't Okay. Wait, what? Why wouldn't you want this? I'm so confused. I don't know what's going on. They didn't even upkeep Exile either, but they were willing to do this. I feel like this is... I don't know what's going on. What? <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> what are you doing? What is going on? Okay, let's uh, land... I guess pre-combat this thing? And then Slingies. This has Menace. They can't block it. So let's do that. Get rid of a land here. You got it. My opponent's playing some spicy ideas over there. I'll, I'll leave up Lash of Malice. It can kill this, right? Minus two. It's basic, I mean, this is just Disfigure. It's not really anything else. I don't even feel like I need to do anything pre-combat. But I will. I will deny the soldier. Alright, we get to play the card with the text on it. Yep, alright. Opponent uh, made some very strange decisions. I like 
what I saw. It's like super into the colorless side of red white artifacts and stuff. Um, I don't know if it plays too nicely with this, and it's very strange. My wait, did they also get rid of this? Was that another target that got exiled from this? Yeah, I mean these this. These are literally th probably in the top 10 cards in this strategy, and the Mystic Forge got rid of them. So I don't know what their plan was. Like, imagine they just played this. It's a 3-4. Imagine they played this. Like, the game would have been a lot different. The very strange... They chose to play this to invent... Like, to which then made a creature token instead of playing this, which would have just been a larger token. I, I don't know the logic. I don't know why they did that, but okay. Okay, so this was really not good. Um, the games it does win feel very satisfying. Like, it's really cool. I love the wither mechanic, and I love how I can utilize it with removal, like turning your, like or, you know, turning some removal into, like, removal that draws cards. That's really cool. Essentially, like, some kind of wither thing going on, right? I really like that. I like how my cards have wither, my creatures. Um, I actually kind of like the Nazgul. They didn't really come together. Um, I was There were a lot of games where I was really low, kind of early. So maybe Necropotence isn't worth it. It is always worth considering what they pitch you against. And I seem to be pitted against a lot of aggressive decks. So... I don't really know if I like Necropotence here, which is unfortunate. Dark Ritualing it is obviously something that is very strong still, but you're not always going to do that. And your turn three is probably going to be a Nazgul, because you just want creatures before you play this. So there are a lot of things that point to not running this, but um, it's still just a really good card. But let's say you don't own it, right, or something. I this, You don't need this. Um, again, there's a lot of things it could easily be instead. The Black March could be alongside of this card it's it's this card except like might not cost mana um i like the witch king this is a bit slow but when it gets going it's really strong right triggering this twice every time a single thing dies is pretty useful it just never really came together same with grave pact i this never really came together Every time this is played against me, it's, like, very devastating. I just haven't seemed to get the same luck with the card. Like, I'll have a board of creatures, my opponent will, but they'll somehow finagle around a Grave Pack still. Um, it, I've just gotten very unlucky with Grave Pack, but that's just circumstance. Uh, I like Obliterator. I, I think this is a perfect deck for Obliterator. I don't know where it would be, if it, <clears throat> where it would go if it wasn't in a deck like this. Obviously, Dread Presence and Bowmasters, their pings have Wither. That's why they were in here. Uh, I never really got to see this card, unfortunately. Um, I also noticed I did draw a little bit of the 4, 5s, and 6s disproportionately relative to the rest of my deck, right? There are not that many, and I felt like I hit them quite often. So that could be something to consider. Maybe even shaving almost everything that costs more than three out of this deck. So you have a much more consistent one, two, three curve. And you just, four is always your Massacre Girl. And then uh, if it ever dies, all preceding lands just commit to this. That could be something you do. Um, because what I did did not seem too efficient. Like, for every game I won, I lost like three. <laughs> right uh, i actually lost a lot against things that i thought i wouldn't um namely kind of like creature decks where i have a lot of removal and a lot of death touch so it's hard to hit me but it never really felt like that was enough so um in the creature versus creature matchup i felt like i was a little at a starting disadvantage which is not where you want to be uh at all especially mono black it does not seem like that should be an issue and it was so I have to refine this a bit more. I don't know when I'm going to play this commander again, but I'm not done with it. I like this commander a lot. That's one of the few in the new set that I really like. So uh, be sure to give me ideas of what you think Massacre Girl should be or should look like. Because <laughs> I don't know if this is the 99. I would 
fully recommend, but this is what I started with. So let me know what you thought about it. Uh, if you have ideas for it, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. Check over on Twitch when I stream. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.